Joining us this morning to talk more about the strength of this story and its staying power is Alex Wilkes. Alex is Executive Director of America Rising. Alex, good morning. Great to have you. Are you surprised? I mean, this story Monday, I thought, okay, it will come and go. But, I mean, it was still a big topic Monday night into yesterday and still even some headlines about it this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I think that this was a major unforced error on the part of Elizabeth Warren. Number one, um, she decided to launch this, uh, you know, this story um, into the news cycle 22 days out at the time um, before the midterm elections when Democrats are trying to keep the uh, focus on different issues um, for, to, to rally their base. Um, and number two, because she basically fell into the president's trap. Uh, the president has been baiting her on this issue for months. Um, yeah. You know, he's been out on the campaign trail. Uh, he's been at the rallies, and she's been like a favorite target for him. And so, you know, she, she comes out with this really slick video. Um, she's attempting to to uh, sort of set the record straight. Um, but in the end, she ended up raising more questions and also raising the ire of legitimate Native American groups and tribes. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised that this story has staying power only because, um, you know, the, I think she attempted to answer the wrong question. She attempted to say, you know, um, look, there's some proof that at some point in my lineage there was a Native American ancestor which, you know, I mean, these, these DNA tests are very common. I've, I've taken one myself. You can you could see that you come from all over. Um, right. But the question was, the, the central question is, did she use this status to advance herself? And that question is yes, and that is still unanswered. Right. No, that's, that's a very good point. Uh, and as you said, the president has taunted her for it. And Elizabeth Warren wants to be president of the United States. A lot of people say she's heavily weighing a run in 2020. So uh, instead of just letting this go and moving on, Warren seems to be doubling down. As a matter of fact, she went after the president yesterday uh, at a stop, calling him, quote, creepy. Or Actually, I think she called him that on Twitter, called him creepy on Twitter, of course, the president uh, firing back as well. I mean, the war of words between these two. I would just be real careful in that. Because ask Ted Cruz, ask Jeb Bush, ask, heck, ask Hillary Clinton. When you get in his crosshairs, he's not going to let up. Not at all. Um, and, you know, it's funny. It's pretty rich uh, coming from the, the, her comment about uh, the president being creepy, um, coming from a woman who said that she wanted to cut open the bodies of Republicans to see yeah. if we have hearts. Um, yeah, I found that to be pretty creepy as well. She, you know, she's absolutely running for president. Um, and I think, you know, the president knows that he's using the fact that, that, he, that Elizabeth Warren is a major rallying point for the conservative base um, in the party. Uh, because people just dislike her so viscerally. Um, and in fact, she's kind of reminding Republicans after the, the Kavanaugh fight, you know, she's sort of continuing that momentum of reminding Republicans about what they dislike so much about the, about the Democratic Party, um, that this is the same party that will decry in just a couple of weeks uh, for Halloween, little kids wanting to dress up as Native Americans and um, right. you know, other characters of cultural appropriation, yet Elizabeth Warren can put her name down as as being Native American um, in in professional publications. Um, I've so got less than I got less than thirty seconds, but let me ask you one more thing: Will members of her own party try to use this against her in what's expected to be a very crowded field for Democrats for twenty twenty? Yep, this is definitely something that distinguishes her, and it, because it violates a major liberal sort of tenet, which is, um, you know, sort of abusing minority status to yeah. get ahead. Yeah, interesting. Good stuff. Alex Wilkes, Executive Director of America Rising. Always good talking to you. Hope we get to chat again soon before the midterms.
Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.